Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So I am on my way, about to start a 12 hour uh, drive to take my daughter to college. Uh, this is her third year. As you can see, the car is packed to the rim. So this is her dorm stuff. And then also our tent and our car camping stuff. So I will show you all how we do this how we managed to fit everything for her dorm, as well as the stuff that we need for camping and car camping. See y'all soon. Well, in 12 hours, but for y'all soon. Good morning. This is our tent that we set up last night because the car is packed full of my daughter's dorm stuff. And this is the beautiful view that we get to wake up in the morning. Good morning. Let's see what our view is this morning. Nice view this morning, right? All right, so for these window covers, for the back, I just have a blackout curtain that I cut to size. And then I put, um, what are these things called? Binder clips, like those little binder clips that you get, like from Office Depot or whatever. Um, and I put them, I attached them up here and with the curtain and then just kind of attached them there and then just kind of put a few more down in this little spot right here. That way they would um, stay in place and wouldn't like come out towards me. <laughs> those side back window covers that I have, <laughs> those are pieces of um, those like reflective shade things that you, this is just the cheapy ones that you can buy at like any auto parts store. <clears throat> I got these at Ollie's and I <laughs> kind of put two of these together, cut them to shape. And then I put this black um, blackout curtain fabric on them. They don't stay up too well, so Right now I'm using uh, whatever that tape is, you know, that tape. I can't think of words this morning. I haven't had coffee yet and I'm trying to do this video. I should know better. Anyways, moving on to the back windows. Ugh. So for the back windows, I have these magnetic ones. <clears throat> and then I have a little tape there too because sometimes there's like too much of a... Sometimes there's too much of a gap between there. And that's not cool. So these are just magnetic ones. You just pull them right down. And then I just store them in the door. 
And then this right here, I don't know if you can tell, but this is like mesh, like mesh fabric. And this is what I use to um, keep the bugs out, but still get air inside the car. Uh, especially right now, I am in Georgia and it got down to like 72, 73 degrees last night, but it's still hot. It's humid. You know, it's the Southeast. It's humid. Um, so I do the same concept for the driver's side and passenger side front windows. The only difference is I don't put this mesh on them. See the mesh? Um, I just put the magnetic curtains. And then up front, you'll recognize those. Those are just those sun blockers and I just turn it around so the black face is out. And that is it. That is how I set up my window covers. And I'm going to take them now. I'm going to take them down now because I'm going to go get some coffee. And I forgot my portable water boiler. So I'm going to go get some coffee from McDonald's before I make any more of this video so I can use words appropriately. See you in a minute. Okay, so this is the view from the back with the trunk open. So you can see I have my bed over here. Got some water. And then over to the left on the other side, I have my little kitchen area. <clears throat> I really like this thing I got off of Amazon. But as you can see, it opens. Oops. <laughs> yeah, that happens. It opens from the front. And then, if I'm outside, I can also access it right here from the side. It locks up real nice, so things don't come falling out. I have my little cheat, uh, Dora Flame fire log there. <laughs> that way, you know, I don't feel like, uh, starting a crazy fire, then I could just use that. You can see there I have my cutting board behind here. This right here is just like miscellaneous items. Of course, you see I have my toilet system in here. This is for pee only. Poops go to the regular bathrooms. <clears throat> but um, this right here can also be opened from the top. And then over here on the side as well, there's... And then over here on the side, there's another door as well. You probably can't see that, but so I like it because I can access all angles depending on where i am in the car i have my little blue eddy over here this is the blue eddy eb3a and really i only use it to charge my phone my ipad um keep this fan right here running um that's a rechargeable fan so i use that to keep that thing running um then i have my dirty clothes bag and my regular clothes bag of course, that's my bed. I keep this black sheet right here because just in case I like to put this over me. That way everything in the car, in case anybody does find an angle where they can peek in, hopefully because this is dark, they don't see me laying there. <laughs> um, extra water right here. I have an extra cup in the back. And these are my lights that I normally have hung up. I'm about to start driving, so I took them down because I've messed them up and I can't get them right. They are all tangled up. So I'm gonna have to fix those fairy lights here in a minute, but they're pretty awesome. And what I use for my bed is just these two camping mats. Um, I prefer a hard surface. Um, so it doesn't bother me. That's, uh, that's what I use. <laughs> And there's of course my pillow and that's how I sleep at night. I have like miscellaneous security items set up around the car. That way if anything pops off, I am safe. I have something to protect myself with. So if I come around to the side, this down here at the bottom underneath where I have my bed, this is just extra um, storage space right now. I don't keep anything down there because it's just me right now. I have my little decoy tent set up that way people think oh she must be in the tent no 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 honey no 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 I'm in my car and same thing on the other side I just have 
my shoes down there on the other side and some miscellaneous items. My front seat up there, my driver's seat, I just keep that open, of course, for safety measures. I think most people do that nowadays. Just keep that seat open that way. If anything happens, I can just crawl right through here and into my seat and I'm able to not leave the vehicle, not get out of the vehicle. So if I pull up somewhere late, like at a Cracker Barrel, and I don't want anybody to realize, oh, it's a single female sleeping in her car. Um, I put up all my window shades, crawl through this part, and just go to bed. And then up here in the front, usually that is also open just because, again, I don't want it stocked full of things and then people are like oh there's a lot of stuff in there i can maybe steal the only reason that uh bike rack is there right now is because i just dropped off my daughter for her junior year of college and she took her bike so i had to find somewhere to keep that what's nice about these vehicles let me go to the back what's nice about these vehicles is underneath all this here I have extra storage so there's a little tab that I can pull up right here and you can't really see right now but there's extra storage under there so that's like the garage area so to speak where I keep my tools and things and then under here in this big area there's also other storage area so that's where I keep um just miscellaneous items that I might need extra blankets pillows things like that so yeah that is my car setup now, when I'm driving, I do take this down and I just set it right here. Um, that way things aren't like tipping over and falling over the place. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll get, um, dang, I can't think of the name, bungee cords. I'll get bungee cords and I'll secure all this down. That way it doesn't go flying. But most of the time I just put it down here on the side because really all I need to do when I'm ready to go to bed is just... If it's down like that, then all I have to do is move it up there. Not a big deal. Um, I didn't bring it with me this time, but if I want to cook in the car, what I'll do is I'll just put this cutting board over my little cabinet right there, my kitchen cabinet, and I'll cook there. I have a rice cooker that I use to boil water make random items like rice uh, noodles eggs things like that and then i can just connect those devices right here to the blue eddy and those devices um they are low wattage so it works perfectly fine on the blue eddy but when i'm not using the cutting board i just put her here over to the side and then i put that guy right back up there yeah that's it that is my car camping setup All right, so I am leaving. I'm making my journey back home. About a 10 hour, 12 hour drive. It's been nice. This part of Georgia, I really like. And I'll be coming back probably in November or December.